Hello friends, welcome to CSOP Space. Today in this video, I am going to show you how you can, you can integrate a chat GPT with uh, SP.NET Core Web API. So let's start. Uh, in first step, uh, need to create a API key for, uh, for OpenAI website. So you can log in uh, with your email to this uh, OpenAI. And after login, you can find your API key from here. So I already create a uh, OpenAI secret key uh, by clicking on this button. So after you getting your OpenAI secret key, so then uh, here I already create a SP.NET Core Web API template uh, project with uh, a blank uh, Web API template. So first of all here need to create a uh, need to add a new get package for OpenAI. So I'm opening this uh, package manager console, and here I am writing like a install package, and then it's uh, OpenAI. Then press enter. This will install the latest new case package for OpenAI. After this. Here, uh, I will add one more controller or OpenAI. This is the default controller that is created after choosing the Web API template. So here I am writing, like add, and here, like I am rename this as OpenAI, and click on add. It will add a controller for this and now now here uh, i am adding one more controller like uh, public i accent result and then get result and now i decorate this as a http post and like I am the change their root like uh, root like I am changing this as a get result and here we are taking the input from the uh, swagger so I am writing it like a uh, from body so from body I am writing this in square bracket from body and then like a string and then taking one variable as a prom and then and then uh, I am writing it's a string and then it's a API equal to then here we are writing API key. Our API key is this. And then like I am taking one more variable for answer. I am taking string dot empty. Then taking one more variables for OpenAI is equal to new OpenAI API. And then here we pass our API key and now this will be the open AI API plus I need to add a new get uh, need to add a namespace for this so I'm just pressing control dot and this will add a namespace for this here and after that I am writing like a completion completion uh, request it's a completion request and uh, like I am writing a completion is equal to new new completion request and then 
we are signing these values like a prompt is equal to prompt this uh, variable and then like completion dot models which models need to use so for demonstration purposes here i am using this uh, openai dot uh, models dot model dot uh, dimensity text this so this is the most capable uh, gpt3 model so can you do any test tasks and that and can models so there's the different models you can check with the different models and their respective answers so i'm using this text and then completion uh, com completion dot max tokens this how many tokens to complete to can return fever if stop sequence is hit default is uh, if you not provide any max token then uh, default value is for 16 but here like i am providing this i have two thousands and then we get the result where result is equal to openai dot uh, completions dot not uh, create completion async and then if result is equal to not null then we iterate the for each loop for the uh, result completion so it's where items in result dot result dot completions and then answer is equal to item dot text and then we return this result like uh, return okay and then we return this answer and if result is uh, null then this return as a bad request like uh, not found so i am pressing uh, so now we run this application so now i am click on start and this will start the application and uh, by default this will call the swagger page so this is the open ai uh, controller that we have created so uh, like here we can ask uh, any questions like uh, what is the sp.net core click on execute and this will showing the uh, errors because sometimes it has uh, so many traffic on their api so uh, we can change this uh, max tokens value to number of iterations to generating the result like this showing currently the rate limit is to default so per minute so like something error for this so we can change this uh, max token and regenerate so like uh, i change their max tokens value like uh, i decrease to less as a 100 so now we again run this application and after um, this colleague this uh, swagger index so now i again enter the prompt message like uh, what is esp.net core And then again click on execute with max token to 100 so this will taking some time to generate the result so this generated the result for sp.net core uh, with there some small definitions and like we change any other message like what is the uh, aqi in new delhi so again click on 
execute this will again generate the result for this so currently it's like a, uh, because uh, current, currently chat gpt is is updated with uh, uh, trend with the model of uh, year 2021 so this will produce the result for that uh, 2021 so you can check the result with uh, different answers and questions so like this is the complete process for how you can integrate a uh, chat gpt with asp.net core web api you can also fine tune your applications with uh, uh, different max tokens and different different models so this is the complete process and if you have any questions any problems please write in the comment box i will try to reply you soon and if you like my videos please don't forget to click on subscribe button and for getting a latest updates also click on notification bell so thanks thanks for watching we will meet in next video session